What it do, it's me, Kenha. As of writing this, my Kamen Rider Fies video has garnered 1.3k views, and for that, thank you. I remember when Kamen Rider Blade used to be on local television, I was obsessed with how the characters would do their hand-weaving gestures before they would transform, and of course, I would mimic them when no one was around. To be honest, it felt cool. As usual, minor spoilers ahead. Kamen Rider Blade is the 14th installment of the Kamen Rider series. After Kamen Rider Fies, it has 49 episodes, one movie, and two specials. I've only watched the TV series, so I'm going to base this video on just that. 52 demons, known as the Undead, participated in a battle royale 10,000 years ago called Battle Fight. The human undead got number one victory royale, and their prize was control over the entire planet. Fast forward to the present day, archaeologists did their thing and accidentally set the sealed undead free, causing another battle fight to occur, and it's up to our heroes to stop them, Kamen Rider's Blade and Garen. Chalice and Liangle appear later in the story, along with twists and turns and the usual questioning of one's morals. As all tokusatsu shows go, the writing is formulaic. Monster appears, MC probably gets washed, argues with his comrade, learns something, powers up, runs it back, wins, probably someone's been watching them in the shadows. See you next episode. However, this series in particular didn't bore me at all. It made me laugh. It made me intrigued. It made me watch more. That's how you know it's good. Same thing applies to novels. Each character has their own personal problems and eventually help each other solve each one. Like this dude, being an unnecessary jerk to everyone. Spoiler, he actually calms down and finds his purpose. This is a tokusatsu drama and I can say that it's dramatic, but not in a bad way. I can say that the dramatic parts of this show can make you go, damn. And that's all. If you're keen on acting skills though, you might even chuckle for a bit. Okay, first off, the hologram card passing through you? That has to be one of the coolest transformations I've seen. It has to be in the top 5. It can even be used to hit the undead before you head shit. I have nothing bad to say about the way this show is shot because to tokusatsu, you can't buy a gun and expect it to clean the kitchen. The CGI can be forgiven because it was made in 2004. The fight scenes are engaging, the power-up moments look cool, and the opening credit sequence goes hard. I'm sure the majority of tokusatsu fans like the first one more than the second. To sum it up, the cinematography still holds up to this day. They're perfect. The motifs of this series are insects and playing cards, and you can really see it on their suits. Nothing looks goofy or over the top. We'll start with Blade, Hercules Beetle and Spades. The dark blue inner shell paired with silver platings, flat shoulder pads, and a rounded faceplate make the suit not stand out that much compared to the other three suits. However, the contrasting gold pieces make up for it and could signify the potential to become something even more. The lines below his shoulder pads are good because of how they change when observing his king form. Now the gold has spread throughout the whole costume and it is amazing. Garen, Stag Beetle and Diamonds The dark red inner shell makes the green eyes pop out. The horned faceplate and pointy shoulder pads make the suit look aggressive. It commands respect and uh, assert dominance. Like a Stag Beetle, this fits the character of Sakuya Tachibana. No BS, he wants the job done. Chalice, Elegant Praying Mantis, Hearts, and the Joker card. This suit stands out from the other three due to the markings around its body and its eyes. The design is otherworldly. The red and gold markings paired with the robotic-shaped silver arm braces and boots. The wild form shares the same quality with wild <laughs> color combinations and a pointy silhouette. It's the odd one, like the Joker card. If I saw this pop out from the dark, I would jump. Then I would touch it. Sensually. Liango. Am I saying that right? Onigumo Spider and Clubs. This suit has the most gold pieces out of all the rider suits, making it look superior to them. The golden spider and purplish eyes make the suit look sinister, probably because I'm scared of spiders. I don't know. The shape of the helmet and the shoulder pads make it look like royalty, some sort of power-hungry prince with an evil laugh. Moving on to the undead, they're all pretty great. The details on their suits are insane and I'm sure they could scare children up close. 2004 this show was made in 2004. Just look at all this drip. 
Look at the hairstyles as well. Funny thing is, one of my uncles grew out his hair back in the day like an anime character, he said. One day, he went to a salon to get it trimmed or something. Then the hairstylist cut one long side of his hair. He was livid. Point is, anime hair is still relevant to this day. Look at your Twitter feed. See? I'm not there. Once again, this show has some campy elements to it, but you can't blame them. They were still fresh from the workshop. Tsubaki Takayuki, who portrayed Kazuma Kenzaki, started his career three years prior in Go, a coming-of-age movie directed by Isao Yukisada. Ryoji Morimoto, who starred as Hajime Aikawa, was in Gokusen. You remember Gokusen? I just found out that there have been many memes that spawned from this series due to how the actors performed. <laughs> <laughs> Takayuki and Morimoto were in Kamen Rider ZO back in 2019. Just goes to show that there is always a room for improvement, consistency, knowledge, mindset, whatever. Point is, it was goofy, but in a fun and somewhat charming way. Out of the 10 Heisei Phase 1 Kamen Rider series, Blade is ranked 7th place with an average rating of 7.9%. Yes, you could just watch Agito, which has the highest average rating of 11.7. We'll try to give Blade a shot. Give me a shot as well by hitting the like and subscribe. Should you watch this? Yeah, if you have the time. The opening theme songs will stick with you for a long time, I assure you. The ending is insane. I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but it shows an example of what it takes to be a hero, to be a common writer. If you're still here, thank you very much for watching. I have a Twitter and a Twitch that I will be streaming in soon, twitch.tv slash increase your chances of getting laid. So yeah, this has been Hyenhe. Thank you.